What's up guys? Well, my uh, router here is uh, starting to die finally. Although I, I guess I bought it in 2004, so it's given me quite a few years of good service. Uh, so I uh, randomly stumbled across a uh, video that this Logan guy did. Uh, if you guys don't know who that is, he's a guy who used to do uh, stuff for uh, Tiger Direct on YouTube a long, long time ago. Well, now he's got his new YouTube channel, Raise the World, so you guys should check that out. I'll include a link for it in the description of this video. But anyway, uh decided uh, to watch one of his videos about turning an old computer into a router, so I figured I would uh, do that. So let's get started with some of the stuff you'll need. All right, well, this is the uh, old PC that I'm going to be using. It's an old HP of some sort. But, anyway. It's got a Pentium 4 in it. I uh, don't really remember much else. I think it has, like, either a gig or 512 megs of RAM. I don't know. Regardless, either one of those will probably be fine for this. Now, the only drawback I can see to this is it's going to consume far more power than if you just had, you know, a normal router. But, if you wanted to, you could also just make a... A brand new router like out of a atom like micro atx motherboard like combo or something like that and then that would use like way less power than this but i don't really care that much about the other electricity it doesn't cost that much but anyway so let's uh get the side panel off this and we can start putting in everything that we need to put in to get this going all right here we are inside of the hp it's uh Got 512 megabytes of RAM, I just checked. We got some SATA connectors over here. PCI Express, PCI Express 1X, and two PCI. Uh, this, you can actually get another part, and I believe you can add some other things to it, like more PCI slots and probably some other stuff. But I won't be using any of that, I just need these two. But the only thing that was wrong with this before was the hard drive died, but I put in a new... 20, well, a used 20 gig hard drive that I had lying around because I'm not going to be playing around with web caching or anything like that just yet. But now let me open up some random stuff that I need to get this working. All right, well, we have a PCI Express 1X gigabit Intel NIC here. And then we have a another PCI Express 1X wireless N adapter so I can use it as a Wi-Fi router. And then I have just a random gigabit switch from Rosewell, because it was cheap and it had decent reviews. And then we have two Cat6 cables. So now let's get these in there. All right, well, we're gonna install the Intel in the top PCI Express slot. So, let's get that on in there. Oh, it also comes with a low-profile bracket. If you have a slim PC, you can still use it. So, let's just get that up in there. Line up the hole. And there we go. That's in there. So, that's in there. And the cool thing about this case is I found out it's got one of those toolless latches. And it actually works. Unlike some of those other ones. Alright, now I need to get this out of the box, so I'll turn the camera off for that. Alright, here's the Rosewell wireless N adapter. It also comes with a low profile bracket. Comes with the two antennas, a driver CD which is useless, and a quick install guide which should be pretty explanatory. Put it in the slot and there you go. So let's get that in there. Put this in the bottom one here. Oop. Dang it all. It's really hard to do this stuff one-handed sometimes. Must be out of practice. Haven't been making too many videos lately. There we go. That's in there now. Now we'll just put this back down. 
just like that. And now those are not going anywhere. Now all I gotta do is attach these to the back and we'll be ready to move on to phase two. What's phase two you ask? You'll find out. Here we go, we're all done. We got the uh, onboard Broadcom gigabit. We've got the Intel gigabit and we got the Rosewell uh, wireless N with the pretty big antenna, which I can see getting in the way of some things, but I'm sure I can get them like there, that right there, that gets them out of everything's way. But there we go, side panel on and everything. Let's go and uh, move on to that phase I was talking about, phase two. All right, here's one thing you're probably going to want to do in your BIOS if you're using an older computer like me is uh, turn on after power loss, turning the computer back on. That way you don't have to manually keep pushing the power button on if the power happens to go out or something. So now let's move on to the actual installation of the operating system we're going to be using. All right, now I'm going to be going with Untangle as my uh, operating system for this uh, router thing. So I've already put the disk in. Starting on up, it should boot from the disk. All right, we're gonna go with the normal mode. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I don't even have a working mouse. Alright, well, I'm gonna just set all this up. And then I'll just turn the camera on for very, very important things, I guess. Alright, pretty much everything here up until this point was straightforward. Now it's just formatting and now it's installing. So we'll see what it does next. All right, after installing for a while, it came up with this. So let's see what's going on here. Thank you for choosing Untangle. All right. Next. All right, well, I guess I'm just, this, is, this looks pretty straightforward too. I don't think I really need to record this. Just follow the directions on the screen and you should be fine. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, well, Untangle's all installed and this is pretty much what it looks like when you install it. After you install this random app, I went over here to apps and I installed the, you know, the random package, not standard. I think it was just a free or free package of some sort. And it gives you all these tools here. All this stuff. Looks like I might need some more RAM. I've only got 73 megabytes of RAM free. So if I want to play with anything else, I'm getting pretty close to the uh, end of my memory here. So I'll probably go get like a gig stick or something. But I did run into some hiccups. It seems like the wireless card I put into there does not work with this or any other, uh, you know, router operating systems. So I had to hook that back up for the time being to be in a, a Wi-Fi access point, but it's still routing from my home, from my cable modem to this, to that. So it's still doing what it's supposed to do. I'll just have to go, you know, do a little bit more research and see if I can't get a, uh, an adapt a wireless adapter for this thing that I actually work with Untangle. Shouldn't be too hard to find using Google. So, till the next video, peace out guys.